birthday, Bob. I just can't tell you how thrilled I am to have been asked to participate uh, in this video and to wish you a happy birthday, not only from me, but from, uh, in the very truest sense, the family of companies, from my own family, uh, Sylvia, Christine, and Freddie, uh, to the Blue Cross family, our board of directors and our, our executive team and all the employees. It's also uh, a great opportunity for me to say thank you, Bob, Thank you for what you have meant to me personally, uh, to this company, to our executive team. Uh, your leadership has been absolutely superb. And I can't tell you how much uh, all of us here at IBC think about how grateful we are to have a chairman like yourself, one that has always been there for us, uh, one that has been supportive in every way possible and one who has been willing uh, at times to roll up his sleeves uh, and do the work that was necessary to move this company forward. We all owe you so much, and it's a real pleasure for us on the occasion of your 80th birthday to say happy birthday and thank you. I need someone older and wiser telling me what to do. Seventeen, going on eighty. Eighty. <laughs> I depend on you. I want to wish you a happy birthday on your eightieth. Uh, I know now, now that I'm sixty-nine. I know what it must mean to to actually reach eighty. Uh, so we give a hip hip to you, and uh, keep playing your age on the golf course. But don't act it. <laughs> Have a merry celebration. And here comes Vivian to wish you a happy birthday. Hi, Bob. Happy birthday. And happy golf. And uh, have a good life and have a good party. I know you will. Bye-bye. All right. And Angela wants to say... <laughs> Angela wants to wish happy birthday. This is the first production, by the way, of The Young Company. Hi, Bob. Have a great birthday. Happy birthday, Uncle Bob. Hope you're having a nice holiday, and um, I'm working out my uh, sw my swing flaws with Butch Harmon, and um, I'll be ready to play with you in a couple years, maybe at, at Ponte Vedra. Bob, happy birthday! Uh, good to see you at Peter's wedding, was a few months ago, and um, you're looking great. You all should take a page from your notebook on how to keep in shape. So, hope you have a good one, Bob. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Bob, happy birthday to you. So bring out your pinky pudding, so bring <laughs> out your pinky pudding, Wrong song. bring out your pinky pudding and stuff it right there. Great. Thank you. Yay, happy birthday Bob. All right. Big man, having your uh, your big 80 party down there. Had a few things I thought I'd just say. Uh, Mary's taking these pictures, and Amanda's doing these kind of things behind her head. Uh, and anyway, um, I thought I'd just say a couple of things. Uh, thank you for two really marvelous contributions to my life. Uh, th those of you who are with Bob down there, and I may not know that... Uh, Many years ago, uh, I was at a Princeton football game with Bob, and uh, it all seemed like it was going well with me, except he went and told my mother afterwards that I'd had a very weak, fishy handshake. And, uh, of course, that made me think, well, next time I see him, I'm going to break his knuckles. So uh, the next time I did see him, uh, Bob, you don't remember this, I took your hand and I squeezed it for fair. And uh, sure enough, uh, next time I saw Mom, she said, you know what your brother said about you the other day? And I said, what did he say? He said, he says you've really grown up. You've got a real solid handshake now. So, Bob, I want to thank you for that because the rest of my life I've been trying to break everybody's knuckles in order to get ahead. And uh, who knows? It may have helped. The other thing I wanted to say is thank you for helping me out during my bumpy road in uh, my job of my career. Uh, you've helped me out many times and I'm enormously grateful. 
And now that you are in retirement and in somewhat reduced circumstances, I'm only too happy since I'm still employed to be able to help you out occasionally. You know, things like uh, uh, free uh, subscriptions to Archaeology Magazine, Archaeology T-shirts, Archaeology pen and pencil sets, uh, all those things which I'm sure you need. And I'd be happy to provide and make your life a little bit more comfortable. In any event, that's about all I wanted to say. And on the more or less serious side, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful birthday party. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Poppy. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Dad. We figured that the best we could do was show you what we never learned from you, and that was how to sing. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bob. Happy birthday to you. Now that you're thoroughly sick and glad that you're 80 and can hardly hear it, we wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, my God. Did you just hear? Dad, you can be 80. I can't believe it. I'm going to have to walk a heck of a lot more than five miles a day to keep up with you. Off to tennis, off to paddle. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Bob, just want to wish you a very, very happy 80th birthday. And I also want to thank you for making me the golfer that I am today. Happy birthday. I'm so glad I get to spend this day with you. Happy 80th. Ta-da! Well, hello there. How are you doing, Grandpa? I just wanted to send out a special birthday wish for you on your 80th birthday. Jeez, I can't believe 80 years. Here's to you, and by the way, Becky and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for allowing us to stay at your beautiful home during the winter. It's a fantastic home. We made ourselves comfortable and right at home. The drinks are cold and fruitful, and we appreciate it. Happy birthday. 79, 80, 80 push-ups. That's a lot of push-ups. 80 years. It's unbelievable. You know, I've been going through pictures and videos and everything that friends and family have been sending to us to put this video together. And it just, it's such a statement to the life that you have had and the memories that I have of you. Although I must say there are a lot of pictures here that are even before I was around. For instance, this one, Dad. Look at you on the dock. What a hard body. I had no idea. You were a hot one. Then I look at some of the pictures um, of all of us when we were younger, and this one caught my attention early on, from 1954 on the vineyard. There's one problem here, Dad. Where am I? I can't believe you left me when I was two months old. 
I've been going through a lot of therapy to get over that one, Dad. I look back at some of the pictures from Kent Road and that whole gang that we had, and here's a great one of you and Mom. Uh, I think this was for the croquet tournament with the crowns on, and I know that there was a huge gang and a, and a lot of uh, friends that you all spent a lot of time with, and this is a, a great picture. But I think back to many of the vacations that we took, and one of them was when we all went out west, and I can't believe that you drove four kids out west on a trip. I found this picture of you on a horse. Uh, you know, I will say though, Dad, I'm looking for the blue jeans. Everyone usually wears blue jeans going riding, but I'm not sure we've ever seen you in a pair of blue jeans. But uh, great form on that horse. But it also reminded me of the memoirs that I haven't yet completed about bathrooms that I have visited throughout the West. I'm going to get this published soon, don't worry. And then there was this picture where we were skiing. I'm embarrassed to even put this one forward. You know, we were a couple of hot numbers here, fashion plates in the ski world. But I think that was uh, when we were in Aspen, or Snowmass, I guess, one year, and we had a lot of fun there. Took some great trips together. And then there's Dad, the avid golfer. We all know you and your golf. Here you are, I think, with a broken Achilles heel out there golfing already. Or this picture of you golfing dead, you're obviously about to give somebody a lesson as you've given all of us over the years. As I was going through all these things, though, I found this Barbie doll. And I think that this must have been one of the Barbie dolls that Chip just couldn't get his hands on. And I have to say, you know, where were you and Mom over those years when he and Cindy were torturing me and burying all my Barbie dolls? But the reality is, you have always been there for me. And I, I think this picture from our wedding album says it the best. You have been just an incredibly special person. I look up to you and the life that you have led and think if I can do even half as well uh, in 80 years, I'll be a very lucky person. And I just want you to know how much I love you, how much I love spending time with you, and I send you a big birthday kiss. Love you, Dad. Bob, you know, I was looking uh, at what I might say to you on this great occasion of your 80th birthday, and the first thing that came to mind was golf and all the different times we've had on the golf course. Uh, how could I forget some of those helpful hints that you've given to me from day one? Here was a, a mere 30-page report, Golf Tips Plain and Simple, Don Trahan, that you sent to Judy and me after one weekend we spent together. Uh, did you ever read any of these? I, I'm amazed at some of the things here. It says, uh, turn torso, right hip and shoulder, pulling set, upper square in motion, load over and onto, flexed right leg, put the club head in the mitt, arms up the tree to a three thumbs up position. I don't know, I don't get it. Um, maybe that's why I'm still trying to figure out what my handicap is. But you know, really, when I started thinking about all the things that I could talk about with golf and everything, that really wasn't it. Because if I really think about what you've meant to me, and, and, and it really comes down to you're an inspiration to me in terms of family. I mean, when I think of the fact that you went from this size family, and uh, now that size family has grown to this size family. And I think of uh, what you mean to all of us. Not only are you a great husband, great brother, great grandfather, a great father, a great father-in-law, but to me especially, I consider you a great friend. And uh, to you, Bob, I raise my glass and say happy birthday, happy 80th, and here's to many more. And today, it's good for Bob, buffet and TV. Shine today. It's good for
chef I am. Let me see what one, one moment here. I think one cup of sugar. And should do it for sugar. And two eggs separated. Separate two eggs. Alright, if they say so. Uh, one cup baking soda. Searching all the golf courses in Florida, but he knows he can't come home until he finds it. Maybe that's him at the door. One moment, let me go see. Could it be? Oh my goodness, it's Roger! Hi guys. You're back. Did you find the club? No, I, I don't know where it is. I just came in for a little break. My gosh. You don't have the club. I can't find the club. I think I, I think I lost a few other ones too. When I must, when I bent over looking for the other ones, I think I lost the other clubs. You don't have any clubs in there. I know. I, I have some other things. I have some toilet paper. I I came in handy today. Roger. Um, I do have a pale ale. I could trade that for a club. Bob likes pale ale. I have some absolute. Uh, save that for Bob also. Well, I have a bottle of white wine for uh, your lush daughter, Cindy. And, and that's it. Let me see. Uh, I, I don't have anything. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go and find some more. But before I go, Bob, I just want to wish you a happy 80th birthday, and thanks for letting me use your clubs, your bag. Well, goodbye, Roger. I... I hope to see you sometime soon. The girls uh, and I really miss you. Please try to find those clubs. You know you, you can't come back till you have them all. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. McChesney tape, take 47. Hi, Bob, Dad. We wanted to wish you a very happy birth trip. <laughs> birthday, dear. Birthday. Yes. And we're all here together. Uh, we're doing well, too. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bob. And just in case you have this feeling that you're the oldest member of the family, we wanted Tucker in the photo video because he is 91, so you are not the oldest one. But you're doing better than he is, Bob, <laughs> so that's the good thing. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, and we love you. We love you. Happy birthday, Bob. Bye. <laughs> it's, of course, still running. <laughs> hey, Bob, we just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from the Southland and hope y'all are doing well. Uh, we're sorry we can't be with you, but uh, we'll be partying with you in spirit, so happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bob, and uh, it's hard to believe that you're 80 years young because, uh, no pun intended, because uh, you are uh, act so young and, and you look so young and uh, always out having a good time enjoying yourself and I hope that you're doing the same uh, tonight or today when you're watching this video and uh, again we're sorry that we can't be with you uh, but we'll look forward to seeing you t uh, soon and uh, we love you guys we hope you're having fun and uh, that's it happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday love you <laughs> hi this is the blank part before we have the greeting so please just look through this part and uh, we'll try to get up to the uh, birthday greetings. Dana and Lauren. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Bob. We hope you have a good birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad, you don't know how to do anything. Just, you go, take one
one. Here you go. No, no, no. no. Put this right here. Take one. Just say it. Come over here and look. Do it. Here, okay? do the take one thing. Wait, when is it? Okay. And say, say, guys, get ready for Bob's birthday. Nikki, say. Get, guys, get ready for Bob's right. birthday. <laughs> if you said happy birthday to him. So go ahead, Nikki. Now, look straight in the camera and try not to make any blue boys. Okay. <laughs> and Nikki, do you want to say happy birthday to Bob? Happy birthday, Bob. What's your name, Nikki? The name is Nikki Stearns. <laughs> the name. Happy birthday, Bob. We're sorry uh, we can't be with you, but we hope you have a good birthday. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Oh. Megan, you want to say something? Hope we'll see you sometime soon. You're doing better than me. Okay, and let's see. Now, Steve. Happy birthday, Bob. And do you want to tell them who you are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Nikki's dad. The name ah! is Nikki's dad. <laughs> oh, man. Excuse me? The son you knew. Oh, the son, I'm the son you never knew. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine? Hi, Bob. Happy birthday, Bob. Wish we could be with you. Actually, I don't know. Are we going to be able to look, though? Actually, I don't know if I wish I would be with we're you. Gonna, actually. We're going to be there before. We'll be there before. Cut, 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 Bob. Cut. Thank you for everything. Cut. Trish? Hi, Bob. I'll be at the party. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll be the crasher that you don't know. <laughs> I, go, I go along with something you never knew you had. <laughs> Taylor? Happy birthday, Bob. Um, Check out his teeth. Zoom in on the teeth. Oh, yeah. Show him your teeth, Taylor. No, you have to get. You have to go like that and let the really let the light really come in. Pistons, not the pistons. And the hydraulics. Oh yes. Tell them what those are. Let me see. These are to straighten my jawline. The hydraulics, buddy. Okay. Tell them what your friends call you. Thank you. My friends call me hydraulic man. Hydraulic man. Very good. Okay. Okay, honey. Happy birthday, Bob. Hi, Bob. It's David. I just want to wish you a very happy birthday. I'm delighted that uh, Catherine and I are going to get to be there, uh, close to your birthday anyway. And I'm sorry we're not going to be there on the big day, but we'll make sure to call you. And just want to say thank you for um, just being you and uh, how tenacious you've been with Mom. It's been a real gift to our family and to her, and we just feel incredibly thankful that... Um, you are the persistent person you are, and getting her out, walking, and just pursuing um, any any possible uh, care that would be helpful for her. Um, I think the whole family feels very blessed, and uh, just want to say thank you very much for that. And we'll be thinking of you, and we send our love to you, and uh, that's all. So. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. And, um, couldn't have done without you. Well, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, I hope you have a great birthday, and thank you for taking taking good care of, uh, Gigi for us, because I wanted to stay around. Bye. Love you. See ya. Happy birthday from Metal Mouth. That's disgusting. Standing in front of their house, as you can see. Uh, if, it, if it's not exactly lifelike, go speak to the artist. But have a happy birthday. Hey, Bob, happy birthday. Oliver, you want to say happy birthday to Bob? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cut. Happy birthday, Bob, and you're number 80. Sure wish I could be there uh, and celebrate along with you. You know, I've been around a lot of number 80s, including the likes of Isaac Bruce, who made the Super Bowl touchdown winning catch in the fourth quarter. And I know you've made a number of outstanding decisions and outstanding contributions to organizations such as Independence Blue Cross. Fred DeBono, I know, has said many times, you've been a great team man and, and done a great job of providing uh, great support and leadership to the entire organization and I, I really wish I could be there uh, in person to shake your hand and say congratulations you've been a tremendous example to all those that you've come in contact with and, and thanks for being on our team happy birthday Bob